can hear you. You can make my other McDouble and we can trade off. No, we don't trade off. In order for us to replace the sandwich, we have to get the sandwich that was Could long. you please remake my McDouble? I really just want my refund. Can I get you my can refund? You leave the property. If you don't leave the property, you will be arrested for trespass. So earlier today, I fell down a rabbit hole of one of the biggest clout-chasing lunatics I've ever seen. She goes by the name Legera, and it seems like her entire online presence and pretty much existence in life is to harass store employees for views online. Typically fast food restaurants like McDonald's, which seems to be her favorite restaurant to target, she pretty much does the same exact thing in every video, which is ordering an item and then immediately demanding a refund for it, or for the employees to replace it. We've seen quite a few examples of clout chasing mouth breathers on this channel in the past, but I don't know if I've seen anyone as desperate as this. This is damn near a spectacle, but without further ado, let's take a look at one of her videos. Good afternoon, are you going to be using the mobile app today? Hi, yes, my McDouble is cold. Can you replace it? Could you repeat that? My McDouble is cold. Can you replace it? Hello? How may I help you? My McDouble is cold. Can you replace it? One moment. You can pull to the rail. Pass the two windows. Thank you. Hey, what's up? Hi. My McDouble was cold. Can you replace it? I need your McDouble. Okay, you can make my other McDouble and we can trade off. Hi. I didn't hear you. You can make my other McDouble and we can trade off. No, we don't trade off. In order for us to replace the sandwich, we have to get the sandwich that was Could long. you please remake my McDouble? We will remake it once we get the old sandwich. So, you know, pretty straightforward stuff that most fast food restaurants are going to say if you want to replace your item. Just hand over the old one, in this case, the cold McDouble, and then you'll get a new one. Nothing really hard to understand here. It's a pretty standard protocol, since I can imagine a lot of people probably try to scam restaurants after already eating the food. The thing is, though, in this case, this person does this all the time. There's nothing actually wrong with the food. She's doing this purely for the love of the game or for the love of clout and internet views. And I'm not going to give her full username out as well just because I don't want to give any attention to her social media. Could you please remake my McDouble? We will remake it once we get the old sandwich. Okay, can I have my receipt? Because I never get it either. I'm sorry. Can, you can have I have my receipt? Yeah, we'll get you a receipt. We have to print it out. Okay, give me my receipt. I'll stay right here. You can't stay right here, boo. You gotta pull up to the rail. Okay, I ain't your boo, but I'll stay right here. Please give me another McDouble. We will once we receive the old McDouble. Okay, give me another yeah. McDouble. You know, I do wonder if she even bought a burger in the first place, considering she doesn't even have a receipt. Honestly, I wouldn't put it past one of these desperate clout goblins to just straight up drive over to some random drive through and start recording for the hell of it. You know, get a quick video in for the day for the Facebook and TikTok page. So either she never even ordered this burger, or I wouldn't be surprised if she already ate it, since that's a pretty common scam people do at restaurants, demanding refunds and replacements all the time. Either way recording and posting this is just such a terrible look. I know the attention online is good, but th this just isn't worth it. I guess the psychology of the average cloud chasing mouth breather isn't fully understood yet. Officer Barron, this McDonald's gave me cold food and they won't replace it or give me my money back. Okay. Have you tried to give the food back to them at all? Well, McDonald's said that they don't give back food over the counter because of his foodborne illness. And then this restaurant keeps giving me cold food and it's the closest one to my house. So they told me to record so that they can know the treatment. Okay. Um, from what I'm hearing from the manager, they said they tried to refund you and tried to give you the 
She never tried to. I would take my refund right now. It's at this point of the video where I think the person recording needs to be McCuffed, Mick arrested, and possibly put on some Mick medication for actually getting the police involved in this situation. Absolutely ridiculous and pathetic behavior, honestly. If you're gonna try and stir up some shit and clout chase for views online, at least don't waste the time of people doing their job, especially the police. Unfortunately, that's usually the case, and sadly, this is the type of content that is gonna get you thousands of followers and views and subscribers like they really got multiple police officers out here and the restaurant manager all having to deal with this shit over a mcdouble that might not even exist all just to make a quick video unreal refund you and try to give you the, the she refund, never tried to i would take my refund right now okay i'll take my refund okay i i will take my refund it's okay no when it comes to the sandwiches we must take the order back order to replace your order. Yep. That's all we told her. She told I her take stop. my refund. She can oh, have it. I'll put it in bag. I can take my refund. Could you have a take? Give me my refund uh, first. Refund? Yeah. Well, Never said you're that. Have to leave the property. You're gonna have to take it up the corporate. Yeah, they, they okay. Well, she just said she'll give me my refund. So can I wait for my refund? Okay, ma'am. You're being asked to leave the property. Yeah, you have to take everything else up with corporate, but right now they don't want you here, okay? I really yeah. just want my refund. Can I get you my can refund? Ask to leave the property. If you don't leave the property, you will be arrested for trespass. I think that cop kind of messed up earlier by bringing up the refund. Maybe he misheard when speaking to the drive through employee, but there was never any refund on the table. But now that doesn't matter. She is, she is clinging onto that potential McDonald's refund when she should be clinging onto a McDonald's application. Because this is such a sad and pathetic waste of time to be doing this. You gotta get a job or do something else instead. But yeah, again, it was either give your order back or you're not getting any new food. There was never in any refund, and these employees and police officers have been nothing but chill and straightforward this entire time. Can I get You've my refund? Leave the property. If you don't leave the property, you will be arrested for trespass. Can I have your name, officer? Sergeant Coolenschmidt, badge number 56. Can you spell right it for me, please? Is it K-U-H-L-E? N S C H M D T. Again, that was K U H L E N S C H M D T. And you are um a what does that say? A sergeant? I'm a sergeant. Now leave the property. Okay, thank you, Mr. Sergeant 56, right? Thank you. Just another day in the life of a content creator slash influencer, which I wouldn't be surprised if this person labels themselves as that. Now, like I mentioned earlier, this is pretty much her entire shtick when it comes to her videos. Same plan, same idea. Just harass store employees, typically fast food workers, and demand refunds or replacements. And I managed to find multiple other videos exactly like this, but we're not gonna watch them all. This is well and truly one of the wildest rabbit holes I've seen. Just give me pumpkin spice then since I didn't get the caramel mocha that I just asked for. Pumpkin spice. change the coffee again you cannot record if i need to get the police officer in the back i will could you change my coffee no you can leave ma'am thank you could you replace my coffee or give me a refund about this um coffee i have a receipt could you have her even replace it yep she or? said she's refunding it right now she's okay. taking care of it for you okay so okay. i just want my refund yeah okay yeah she was just having issues with the recording just on the on the private property so oh they don't I said, said i, I can record i can record and send them a video of my treatment here is that what they said well that, that's what they said yes. yeah, yeah. 
My coffee has spit in it. Spit in it? Yes. Thank you so much. Thank is this, you. Is this yours too? Yes, you can keep it. Oh, okay. You all set? Yes. All right, well, hopefully you get a coffee somewhere that doesn't spit in it, right? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Officer, what again? Wakely. Two weeks. Wakely, hopefully you get a coffee without spit in it. I'm sorry for talking <laughs> over you. No, you're fine. You have a good one, okay? Okay. My god, the voice alone is enough to be arrested for. At the end of the day, what sucks is I don't think there's any actual reason for people like this to be arrested. They're not breaking any laws, to my knowledge, by being annoying as hell unless McDonald's straight up bans her from the establishment, which, let's be real, isn't gonna happen and probably wouldn't change anything either. As long as there's a brain-rotted fanbase supporting these clout goblins, people are gonna keep doing it, which is why I do think there's gotta be some new laws introduced when it comes to recording people in public. Could you replace my coffee or give me a refund? But anyways, I think that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more juicy videos coming soon to the channel. And let me know what you would do faced with this cloud-chasing nutcase boss battle. I think the only way to go is to call the law and get the cops to throw this woman in the slammer immediately. But let me know. Leave a comment. Peace.